Hello, uh, welcome back to Bard Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman. We are currently in the Violet Mountain. This is the third episode in here. And I think this episode we're gonna finish exploring this remaining section of the Violet Mountain and um, see what we can see in this next level. The next level is overwhelming. Um, this might end up being a short episode. But if the next level is tiny, maybe I will complete it. We'll see. Okay, so, uh, I don't remember where I left off, but I ended up moving... I wandered into a spell point regen and mostly refilled my spell points. Um, and in the process, encountered some fight and got a bunch more harmonic gems, so I probably shouldn't have bothered. But anyway, that's what I did. Um, I don't know if my sorcerer's sight is working at the moment, so I'm going to recast it. I guess I could have turned to the right to check. So we moved here, and we're about to step into a something. And that something is what kind of something? One of the somethings that I don't know how to identify. Oh, no, wait. Something is not here. It's to the west one. Or no. I don't know. I guess I was just wrong that there's a something in this location. Option N. It's probably from a long time ago. I started to get a little frustrated with the idea of skipping so many combats. And the reason is the game is somewhat balanced around you having lots of experience points. Maybe not as many as I usually acquire. but lots. And if I skip lots of fights, I will end up lower level. And if I'm lower level, I will have worse resistances. And if I have res worse resistances, I will have a crappier time playing the game. So I don't know. I, I'm not sure what to do about that. I don't want to have these um, play, like, like a play session where I just kill things constantly can be kind of meditative for myself. Um, like I can do it on a commute or something, but it's not super interesting to watch. Uh, so then when I, so whether or not people who would watch this would be interested in seeing all that, it doesn't. I don't get to really know, and I feel the pressure to skip many fights, regardless. So I don't really know what to do about that. I'm going to try to find maybe a better balance. Wow, I forgot how much those mind images can hurt. I don't know what they're supposed to be casting, but it hurts. It's like close to 300 damage to the whole party. That's another thing levels help with. Um, <laughs> I just got crit. They, he cast this death strike on me, and I missed. I all my guys missed him. My three, no two. My two warriors both missed. And they all missed again. Is he not in... Oh, he's in stabbing distance. 
How about Death Strike on him? This is getting annoying. Attack. Attack. Luck. Heal. Death Strike. What the hell? Okay, well, I finally killed the stupid thing. Okay, so orange wizards are a lot more dangerous than I thought they were. Um, my list of processes is not all that exciting. I bet there's going to be a lot of it. No. Darkness instead. see is a wall and then a door. Okay, I'm going to try to inflict damage on the orange wizard from afar this time. Which is not working very well. Ole on Chantrell and anti-magic and... Anti and that was a weird emulator lockup. I'm going to cast a bunch of Ogre Strengths on Elena and hope she can just kill that dork. I forgot to cast Preclusion, so I'm probably going to get some more. Um, rather Scringles soon.
Okay. You can continue. Thank you. Um. Yeah, what I expected. Stairs and anti-magic. So I've decided the skeptics are actually some kind of goofy uh, variation on monks. I don't have that spell. Um, what spell do you have? You have Night Lance on I guess I don't nearly need to be using a lot of spells. I don't think... I mean, the skeptics are really annoying in the sense that they can cast stacking spells that buff them somehow. And they have really high saving throws to begin with. So I pulled them in to close range. They do a lot of damage with hand-to-hand -hand attacks, but um, if you don't start attacking them quickly, they keep stacking their buffs and then I never hit them. So, this this level is kind of weird. I mean, what is the natural way to go down the level? Like, walk forward, teleport to here, walk around here through this anti-magic, all the way around here, back up I don't know, it just feels like there should be a shortcut. Even if it's something like you unpack the shortcut and later it's more accessible, I don't know. Incidentally, I did go to this, uh, I went to everywhere in the level except for this one little spot. No, I went there too. That's right. That's why this is green. Uh, I even went to this teleporter again. So I might feel like there should be another teleporter over here that goes up there because the level is mostly symmetrical, but they're not required to. They don't have to follow the rules. There are no rules. Um... Kills Overture, Hide, uh, Mind Blade, Rhyme, are these too weak these days? Those are probably too weak for me to be bothering with.
No, I shouldn't. That's the whole thing. It's like I I want to lower my armor class, but I want to use Kiel's Overture more. Ole on Grisnak. And use a master wand on the second group of grey robbers. Well, if they're going to resist that much, maybe I should stop and lower my armor class. I think I'm still standing standing on the hit point drain. So I think it's going to hit me again when I exit combat. Yep. Oh, that wasn't who I wanted to re-energize. Okay, all my spells turn off. Yep. Okay, so... These are definitely the stairs up. And there was nothing interesting in those other spots. We're definitely going to see if I can teleport from here directly to there in the future. Not right now, because if I, it works this way, not that way, I'm going to be sad. So I'm going to take the stairs up, and go up, say no, and use, use a batch spell to store all my buffs, um, and then look at the map. So this is, I think, smaller than the level below, but not small. And we start in the northwest corner. Of course, the coordinates are still going to be based on when we, where we came in. So... Oop! That is not what I meant to do this floor that I made by accident. Okay, um... This is one to the west. This is gonna be zero. One, two, three, four, five. No. Okay, and... Six north is as far as it goes. So that's sort of still on track. But I don't know how far down it's going to go in these directions. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, I wish I kind of did know, because I could start placing those things accurately on the other side of the world. Um, so there's a trap. Over here somewhere. To the north, nothing. Message, the note, which I'm not going to make. Then typing. The darkness seems thicker here below the mountain. The hot air is fetid and stirs with the breath of a mighty yet unseen beast. <laughs> so presumably that's our dragon. But I have to say, I'm getting vibes of... Um, the Doctor Who episode where they find a giant vampire like the size of a skyscraper drinking blood by the gallon through IV tubes under the city. I don't know. Somehow it just makes me it gives me that feeling. That would be the Tom Baker Ramana period. In the very low tech very low budget um, old Doctor Who stuff. But anyway, uh, we have more things to kill. None of them look really dangerous, actually. I've learned now that the orange mage is pretty dangerous up close. I already knew that the, uh... Mind Mage was bad news. But none of them are here. Yeah, they're just throwing the gems at me. Speaking of which, I should use one. Okay, so this is a little more relevant. There's a trap in one of these. And there's a something ahead here, but I have no way to narrow it down without kind of walking into it, I think. On the right, there's two. On the left, there's two. That's it. Okay. Hit point drains. Here we have we can sense a anti magic zone and a trap. And no trap here, so I at least know it's not here. I didn't bother it and I don't think it's here. I think the trap is here. Um and to the east there was 
the something over here somewhere. Facing south, we can detect a trap and a spinner. And then I'm going to get rid of this trap to the north. Sense the trap from here, so it is there. Stepping forward, we try that sense the spinner, so I got those both right by random chance. <clears throat> what does this group look like? We have an orange dragon, which is a little dangerous. Grave robbers are somewhat dangerous. I think we're going to start off with armor class. Uh, no, wither, wither fist on those grave robbers. Pull in the dragon and some deflect ablative anti magic. Attack the dragon, attack a grave robber. Um, kills overture, attack a grave robber. Defend, defend, defend. So, how big, how much of the space have we explored? Less than half across? Okay. I still want to know the dimensions of this dungeon, so... I'm going to go the other way. Into the darkness. enough. It's like eating your vegetables. Okay. The orange wizard, we have two orange wizards. That's not, that's not great. I'm going to fight them anyway, but I'm not going to pull them into melee range. Uh, 
I'm going to cast Luck and Anti Magic and I don't know Soul Soul Whip. N no, Night Lance will reach them. So I'm going to focus on number B, letter B, first one. Oh wait, I choose B again. That's that they shifted, of course. Um, uh, defend, defend, kills overture, hide. Um, cold on A. Rest and a night lance on A. I really have no idea how much gold I have. Pretty much none. So I still am unclear what this means. I think this might mean we have two different kinds of something ahead. Uh, we have a spell point drain, or hit point drain rather, and something that's probably out of reach. Codger Bomb is one of those kind of things that makes me want to Google Codger Bomb to see who else, you know, uh, cottoned on to that phrase. Surprisingly, this little corner is not a hit point drain. Not what I expected. I expected to have kind of like some kind of American flag of alternating red stripes. Okay, are we getting to the edge yet? We are. So, six, seven, eight, nine. Seems to be the extent of it. Which, in turn, means this trap is here. So there's a trap on the wraparound at one, at one, two, three. Yes, this trap that I already have mapped. Same with that one. I guess I can remove this one too. 
I've kind of pretty well verified where it is. Unbelieve remind mage. The fine mage is bad news. Not always. Not all the time. Sometimes it just doesn't do much. Uh, sanctuary score. Hide. Um... How far away are the unbelievers? Too far. Defend. Anti-magic. Melee men in that mind mage so we can kill it. I guess I get the unbelievers and the skeptics confused. Can you blame me, really? Certainly look different. I'll give you that. Facing north, a trap of some kind. Not sure where. Now I can see north and actually map it somewhat. I'm surprised I'm not losing health right here. I guess I would have gotten forewarning of it with something ahead. Uh, I guess there wasn't a trap over here, so the trap I'm detecting must be, in fact, right here. So let's remove it. So this little area seems to be have been pointless. I guess it would have had a point if I'd been stepping on traps. Already went over here. Okay, um I guess this is the way forward. It's the only way forward. Aside from, you know, taking shortcuts through walls. Or long cuts through walls. Okay, is this special something square gonna reveal itself to me? Nope. You know, this was a speculative... I think this was a speculative word. Uh, I think I put it down there before I knew where it was exactly. Okay, that's much more precise. 
stepped forward and quiet is here. And they require me to walk through an anti mag a uh yeah, an anti-magic. That's really a lot less of a problem in this game. In Bardstyle 1, they would always do that to you, and it would just... I don't know, you only had like, a hundred spell points. And it was just really obnoxious. But here... Kinda doesn't matter that much. All my spells are off. All my spells are on. Sure, I lost some spell points. But I have a lot of harmonic gems. And I have a lot of spell points left. It's all corners all day. like I just turned. No big deal. And somehow got into a fight. I guess they jumped from behind. Uh, Agent Orange, Agent Orange, Orange Ogres, Orange Dragon. It's very orange here. Um, I'm going to do armor class. Hide. Defend. Defend, pull in that dragon. Say it, okay, pulling in the dragon didn't work this time. Did work this time. I'm not really sure whether I should bother to use the healing songs anymore. They work, but it it takes away such a large amount of um, offense potential. I the Minstrel's Glove is nice, but I already have one. I'm pretty sure. Unless I crashed after I got it or something. Oh, it was such a cl colossal upgrade. I went from Leather Gloves to Minstrel's Gloves. It was like five points of armor. Discard. No one else seemed to be able to use them. Which is too bad because they're better armor than what a lot of people have. Okay, let's check north first. As I expected. Nothing of interest. How close is that quiet? Should have been more careful about that. Okay, so it's from here exactly. Which means the quiet is here. I'd like to know I can go around it. Skeptics, orange wizards. Okay, so kill the haste mage. 
and Agent Orange. And kills Overture. Hide. Uh, cold on the Orange Wizard. What am I doing? Um, restoration. Uh, and use your wand on the whatever. Use it on something. I didn't use it on the right thing, but I didn't want to do the combat instructions again. Huh, so I got poisoned after restoration. That's slightly annoying. Um, I'm going to attack the skeptic because I'm going to try to pull it in. Kills Overture. Hide. Defend. Pull in the skeptic. Get rid of that poisoning. Okay, kill the skeptic. Um, kills Overture. Hide. Blast that orange wizard. Okay, he went down. That's good. And that's probably about time to stop this episode. So I'm not sure how far, how big the dungeon is north to south, but not that big. Uh, maybe one, two, three, four more south, maybe five. So I'd say more, we're more than halfway done with it. Um, and my spell points moved, but it was just normal refill. Uh, so. <laughs> keep pressing keystrokes on the wrong program. Anyway, uh, so that was the first half of um, this level of the Violet Mountain, and I'm getting a picture from the notes that the dragon's down here somewhere. I think I'm ready for him. We'll see next time. See you.